On this episode, we talk about how crucial scheduling is. You get to find out if this wall behind me is real or fake. And an old man pees in my basement? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 18 of the Uber NYC show. I'm your host, Roman Miranda. Let's get into it. Today, we're talking schedules. So psyched. Actually, uh, I'm just, I'm indifferent. <laughs> Setting up a schedule for yourself is the most important thing that I think you can do as an entrepreneur, as a productivity hacker, and as an Uber driver. So let's talk about my recommendations for schedules that have worked for me and schedules that haven't really worked for me. As I mentioned in the beginning, I'm shooting for long weeks. I'm shooting for 55, 65 hour weeks. That's a long time. That might be more than you're interested in doing. But I recommend that, um, you know, as we talked about in the 6K guarantee videos, and if you haven't seen those, I will link them here or here somewhere. Uh, so check out those. They're the previous episodes, I think 16 and 17. Um, and watch those to learn about the about Uber's 6K guarantee. This also, they may not have it. I don't know when you're watching this. Maybe it's 2040 and I'm old and gray. Actually, I won't be gray by then. Sorry, there's a man peeing in my basement. Wow. One sec, he's, it's good, it's a good pee. Can you believe this guy? I hope your day is going well. It's a real wall. Some people think it's fake, it's real. Where was I? Um, schedules, right. Okay, so when you're making, uh, I talked a little bit about uh, a preview of a schedule. I was talking about how I do you know, 55, 65 hours a week. Um, now, you might not wanna do that much, but here's what I recommend. You gotta, you gotta be your own boss. You figure out a way to motivate yourself to get up and figure out how to get out there and start driving. Um, here's what I recommend some of the schedule breakdowns. First, I tried five hours with an hour break and five hours, five days a week. I can't do this again. I'm gonna, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to turn the washer off. Well, now that that's over, sorry about that. I apologize for any audio problems. Let's get back to it. Okay, so recommended schedules. If you're shooting for a fifth, take your total, your target number, and divide it by however many days you wanna work. That's basically it. And then, when you have that number, I recommend you divide it by three, and then I'll talk about the next step. So let's use an example. Let's say your target number of hours is 50, and let's say you wanna work five days a week. Here's what I would suggest. You take 50 and you divide it by five, which is 10. That's 10 hours a day. Then divide that by, let's use easier numbers. Let's say it's, uh, no, whatever. No, wait, what's nine times five? Let's say it's 45, easier numbers. 45 hours a week, that's, and you wanna work five days a week, that's nine hours a day. Then I would take that number, nine, and divide it by three. So you get three, three, and three, okay? Now, what I would recommend is you then add a 30-minute break in between, and that really breaks up the day nicely. That's what I do. Um, actually, I, tr I sort of do that. I've adjusted it a little bit, and I'll explain that. So instead of three, three, and three, I like doing four, three, and two, um, because I have more energy in the morning and 
I feel like I can go for a little bit longer and uh, four hours doesn't seem so bad in the morning, but three hours seems like a long time in the evening when I'm tired and I've already done my two breaks. So I like four, three, two. Um, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's nine hours a day. Um, and I shoot for six days a week. So nine times six is 54. And then I usually wind up doing like, I usually, I usually am more like nine and a half hours um, or sometimes even 10 hours. And I do, you know, four, three and three um, or, you know, even five, four, three or five, three, two. Like you, you, you can, you can, you know, mix it up a little bit day to day, but I recommend doing three shifts, three mini shifts um, with 30 minute breaks in between. Now, again, with scheduling, you gotta be tight with your schedule. Either park in a metered spot, which will force you to only spend 30 minutes, um, or if you wanna do, maybe you're only driving, you know, you wanna do, maybe you wanna do eight hours a day, six days a week or seven days a week, which is a good amount of hours, and you wanna take an hour break in between, and you do four, an hour, and four, great, or five, an hour, and three, that's cool too. Um, and then, you know, put your meter, find a metered spot, fill up the meter, do an hour, and and now you have, and you tell your phone, like, you know, Siri, set an alarm for 55 minutes from now, and now you're gonna hustle, and it's like you're, you know, you gotta be your own boss. And don't go in 55 minutes and fill up the meter again and then take another hour break or add another 20 or, or 30 minutes to it that defeats the purpose. So um, I really think minimizing the breaks is, is, is really important. Here's what I did, and one of the reasons I failed the 6K uh, those weeks is because I was just taking, you know, I looked back on some of those weeks and even some weeks after that, and I felt like I was driving forever because I would leave my house and get to the city at like nine and I'd come back at nine, 12 hours, and I look at the app and I was only on for six and a half or seven and a half hours. I was like, what the hell? How does that happen? It's because I'm telling you those little like, oh, let me find, I really, I got to pee. Like, let me find a spot. Finding a spot in the middle of the day to go pee, that could be 45 minutes. And then you're like, okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go get lunch now. And then you don't time yourself. And I would eat my food and watch a YouTube video, and then it would just go to the next YouTube video. And I'm leisurely eating my food, you know. And then I, and then I gotta, you know, use another bathroom break or whatever it is. And until I really, and this is really only recently in the last, in the last three or four weeks, where I really was a hard ass on myself, and I would time myself and say, Siri, set an alarm for 30 minutes from now, or Siri, set an alarm for an hour from now, or whatever, or 20 minutes. I've done 20 minutes three times. I did like two with like, I don't know, I think I did like three, whatever. You get the idea. Be a hard ass on yourself. Schedule, time block your breaks, and time them, and be ruthless with yourself, and make sure that you go back to the car and turn the app on. I'm telling you, this is one of those jobs where you get out what you put in and the, just the number of hours helps. You gotta get that number up. At the end of the week, if you drive 50 hours and you don't make 1300 bucks, then like, I don't know, you're like going to weird places where there's, no, there's nobody there. Or like, I don't know, I really think that you're gonna make between 13 and 1500 if you just get in those hours. So you gotta just get those hours in. Um, and, and yeah, and, and, and then, so time block your days in those chunks and then pick what shifts you wanna do. If you wanna do a morning shift, maybe you like, maybe you like doing like the really morning shift and you wanna do you know, six to nine, 9.30, 10, 11 to 12.30, and then one to four. And that's nine hours, and that's like the morning shift, and you go home, you go home at four, you can go home early and do whatever with your time. There's still plenty of day left. Um, or you want to do, or maybe you want to do the night shift. You want to start at 2 p.m. and you do 2 to 5, and then 5.30, 6, 7, 8.30, 5.30 to 8.30, and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 9 to midnight. You know, like 
break it up, but like do it all in one chunk. I don't, I don't recommend um, shooting for both. This is what I did in the first week. I was like, oh, I'll do a six to nine a six a.m. to nine a.m. I'll go home and I'll sleep from nine to five, and then I'll wake up at five and I'll do a six p.m. to midnight or six p.m. to like midnight shift, and then stay up from twelve midnight to four a.m. and then go back and do you know five to five to nine a.m. again, and that was miserable. I only think I even pulled it off like four days out of that week. And I just couldn't, it's just really, really hard for, it was for me, maybe that works for you, but like, shit, that was really hard. I couldn't do it. I was trying to get as many peak hours in as possible and I just couldn't do it. I think if you're going to, if you're going to pick, if you're going to do this, I think it's important to get some peak hours in even after you're done with the 6K incentive and pick, am I a morning shift person or am I an evening shift person and, and do, do it that way. Um, and yeah, that's what I recommend. Another thing that I've noticed, to be completely honest, I haven't done a ton of morning shifts, like straight up from six to 9 a.m. Um, so I don't have as much data, but from what I can tell, the evening shifts you get, you make more. This, it surges for longer. Um, the surge pricing is, is, the surge percentages are higher. Um, that's what I've noticed. Now, again, I could be wrong, but I felt like when I was doing the morning shifts, um, and I still, I'm kind of like halfway doing them now. Now I do, now I'm kind of waking up at like seven, eight, and then I, and then I get down to the city, it's eight, eight thirty, And then I'm doing like, you know, I have those first the hour and a half of peak. And then I do the whole day. And then I'm working until like seven or eight p.m. So um, so I catch that peak time. So you know so it depends. It depends on what you want to do. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I recommend for scheduling. But I think time blocking is super important. Put it in your calendar. Use your calendar wisely. Block these out. Do it and crush. This is how you're going to get those hours in. I'm telling you. And give yourself. I I, I recommend at least I. I I think it's tough to work. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know how you roll. I think it's hard to work seven days a week, 365. Um, I think it's good to have a day off every week. Maybe maybe do every 10 days if you're really trying to hustle um, or you're trying to make that, that you know, I, I totally believe you can make 90, 95K, um, and, but that's how you're going to do it. It's by working, you know, seven days a week for nine hours a day. Or maybe you do 12 hours a day, Monday through Friday, and then you pick up an eight hour shift on a Saturday, and then you take Sunday off, whatever. But try it out and test different things. I don't think you're gonna know what's right for you. I think that you're gonna think that something is gonna work, and then it doesn't work, happened to me. Um, and then you wind up adjusting. And I'm still tweaking it here and there. And, and what I've kind of settled on is, is a you know a bigger chunk, medium chunk, small chunk, five to six days a week, and that seems to work best for me. So test it out. Um, use your first few. I you know use those first four weeks to maybe try come up with four different schedules and see what what works for you. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps. Scheduling is super important. I think it's crucial to being an entrepreneur, to being an Uber driver, to being self motivated. Uh, to really getting those hours in and not looking back and being like, wow, I only worked 30 hours this week and I thought that I worked 60. So hope that doesn't happen. And, uh, and yeah, go get them, crush it. Let me know what else you want to see. Comment below. I need your comments. Let me know. Give me feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care, either one. I want your reaction. Awesome. Go get them this week and I'll see you in the next video.